everyone. I hope you've had a great Christmas and a great New Year. We haven't, we've been poorly all Christmas, so uh, it's time to get out. So today we're going to do a part for night recce number two um, in the area of Dobcross and Delft. And if you haven't seen recce number one, go and have a look. I'll put a link below because it's actually quite funny. If we get stuck though, we won't get stuck. We've only got soup. <laughs> no, don't go through it. Seriously, Dave, we don't know how deep that is. No, Dave, go right, go right. I need a coffee now. If we don't get out, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> minutes later. <laughs> Ten hours later. <laughs> it's here. There's a sign. Oh. Queen Street. Queen Street. Queen Street. Get your park in there. Because that's disabled parking and we're going to go down there. We can walk, Dave. It'll be good exercise. It's a big right, hill. You can show the hill now so oh. everybody knows. You might not want to come down here in a lowered vehicle. Oh. Oh, I like this one. So we're starting our day at the Emmaus Trust in Mosley. If you've never been here, it's basically a charity shop and a cafe that supports um, people that are struggling with homelessness. It gives them work, it gives them somewhere to live, and it gives them a trade. Absolutely brilliant. So come and have a look at uh, the Emmaus Trust. Piano, 295, weighted keys, electric. Printing press. That's very cool. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. I'll follow on golden, 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 golden. He's found a new toy. It's a proper steamboat. Uh -huh. Miniature rudder. Dave's walking into his heaven. Rainbow trout and hummingbird wing. Golden. I follow him. Golden. Just a warning, this might not be a recce for park for night, or it might only have one, because we saw a brown sign, so we're going to what looks like Dullstone's Reservoir, which I've got a feeling I've been to before. Looks like it's all pay and display, of course. for all day which is great uh, but this isn't a park or you can't park overnight so we're just going to go and try and find the place that's up the road that we think is park for night 
um, car park that you can park for free. So we'll check that out. Coffee though. Right, Parched. You are. Where are you coming out? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> are we having a proper coffee? Yeah. Proper. Proper. I've actually been in this car park before. Uh, not uh, last Christmas. I had I was fostering a child from the Oldham area, and so I spent the day doing a video and some work in the back of my van, and I came to this car park. Now it wasn't pain display that then, although we can't see a pain display machine yet but I think that might be what they're installing um, so I don't think you could park here overnight maybe in winter you could get away with it but would you risk it because you don't want to park up and then someone comes to move you on just as you're settled but I will show you around because it's a nice little walk but after I've had a coffee and a chocolate biscuit because we've had no wine, coffee, nothing lovely over Christmas because we've been so ill. So as I said before, we've had this flu thing that everyone's had over Christmas. Um, we're very lucky, we've got teenagers, so they kind of do their thing, they've all been okay, but me and Dave have been ill, I've been particularly ill, and I like to do things at Christmas, I like to have visitors around, and I like to um, uh, go out and just, you know, have fun, um, but we've not been able to do that, so I've had to just accept that it is my time to rest, and to be ill, and to make sure I get better, uh, and now I feel better, I'm just so excited to get out it, i'm just so grateful to feel healthy still got a little bit of a cough <coughs> but nothing to how it was so if you've been ill this christmas which a lot of people have i'm so sorry but there'll be another christmas um you know it is what it is a time to be ill and a time to get on with it and be well coffee It does two decent cups. It doesn't look as if it would, but it does. Yeah, baby. Yeah. I always wipe round after. Always. Always. Clean the camper van, keep it nice. It's got to get us through our retirement, dear. This will be antique. We won't have to pay tax on this, you know. <laughs> when we're retired. It'll be one of those antique vehicles. Look at this, like milk bottle, right? Do you remember, if you're our age, you will remember. Look at that. Cream. Look, cream on the top. Uh, look, look, look. Look at that. Do you remember that? Yeah. Get your milk bottles from your milkman. We don't always. We do still buy milk from Aldi, but 
It's a good milk. It is good. You can tell it's proper good because it's got cream on the top, I think. And guess what I made? Some chocolate biscuit cake. Ta-da! Would you like a piece? Yeah, I'll have a small piece, please. There you go. <laughs> Still Ill. I'll show you where this is on park for night. This is number one. We park there, it's a nice level car park. It does say on the way in that they're going to be putting up um, a restriction for, you know, like kind of pay meters, but there isn't any pay meters yet. So I don't know quite what's happening, but um, if you look, hang on. Got a nice little climb up there. These are toilets, not always open. There is a barrier on the way in, but I reckon at the minute you'd be okay. But look at this. Come this way, Dave. I've been here before. I don't think we can do this because Dave has hurt his knee. And I think that this will hurt it. So, but look, you can go right through the woodland down there. And the reservoir's just down there. Oh, it's cold now. So according to the reviews, it gets four out of five. It suggests that other people have stayed here for one or two nights, beautiful walks at the reservoir, and uh, a nice quiet level <coughs> car park, excuse me. Um, and again, people have said that it says pay and display, but there's no pay and display machine. So I suspect at some point they're gonna put them in, um, but you might be all right for now. So what would we give this? Would uh, you stay here overnight? Yeah, I would, yeah. Yeah, I would. It'd be nice. You could go for a nice little walk, couldn't I you? I think looking at the evidence, you get a few boy racers or firework letter offers and stuff and bits and bobs. Firework letter offers. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what would you give it? Four out of five? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, Four point there's five. still the road there, isn't there? But I reckon five. that'd be quiet at night. Quiet. Yeah, lovely. Um, okay, onward. trust walk across the moors so I think I think in summer this would be beautiful but even in winter I would definitely stay here because the view is gorgeous and I don't think there'll be much light pollution here and someone's put a review on saying that you uh, can see lots of stars at night so I think it'd be lovely on a clear night. Nope. Shame about this mess but I'm hoping that that would be sorted by the council at some point. On a summer's evening, it would be lovely, wouldn't it? It'd be full of walkers as well. I don't know. I never find anywhere quite like Mantor. 
because that's just beautiful there's other vans you feel safe but it's not noisy it's just nice so hmm but yeah i'd i definitely park here without worrying about someone pulling in and knocking on and saying you need to move and i think so you definitely park it you know you'd be like yeah whatever i can definitely park here overnight so yeah number two there we go oh yeah this is lovely Oh, the the this is perfect now this i would stay Back in. Now there's a view to wake up to. Oh, now this is a good spot, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what it is about people around here, but why do you fly tip your nice places? Because there's rubbish here as well. But this is off the big main road, and what a view! And there's no signs to say you can't stop here. I would definitely stop here overnight. This would be a lovely spot, wouldn't it? If that road's quiet at night, yeah. If the road's quiet at night. Oh, I'll get some pictures and show you. We have a problem. The problem is we've put the heater on and all it's doing is blowing cold air. There's no heat. Hence we've put the gas on. Yes, we've got a window open um, and a CO2 detector, but it's cold. We want to be warm. And this is only blowing cold air. So does anybody know what I need to do? Please put it in the comments. I think that we're going to have to cuddle. <laughs> For curry. Curry and rice. Two minutes in the microwave or a minute in the pan. <laughs> oh, the heater's working now. It just started working. And then we got hot, so I'm getting cold now. Go back on. Pre made curry. Chicken tikka. Which you shouldn't have with a white top on. It's just asking for trouble, isn't it? Oh, I could do with the kettle, please, Dave. Actually. How are you doing? Wow. I love our camper van. Because we're not stopping over because we've got kids coming home in a bit. But it's really nice, isn't it, to just have a bit of time together. If you've got teenagers, you need a camper van. Because it gives you time together. Is that a big chunk of blue tack near it the pan? It is, it's to stop. See that? Yeah. Because what happens when I'm driving is it kind of makes a noise. So the blue tack is to stop it making There's a another noise. one of Ruth's handy tips. Handy tips. Don't look good, dun, though, does dun. it? We have got mango chutney. Can you have a little look in the side thing? I don't think we have got Let's have a check. We've got salt. No, it'll be in the top one, Dave, if it's anywhere. Any mango chutney there? No, but there's salt. That's uh, good. No. No, never mind. No. I'm not I'm not very really, I'm not very fully stopped. I'm kind of emergency stopped. Well, yeah, just like bacon Fox's grill. Classic. Yeah, of course, Chocolate bacon flour. grill. <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. an emergency stock. And bacon grill. Yeah. Uh, right, cup of tea. 
So I do think it's worth saying <clears throat> that we do love our children and we love being with them. Oh, hang on. Well, we love, love it more than being. But we love being together. Because if you've got teenagers, you'll understand that you don't get a lot of time together. And Dave is my best mate. And I'm his, aren't I, Dave? You are, my dear. You are. <laughs> <laughs> and so, would we stay out here overnight, Dave? Yeah. I would so stay here overnight. I would love it. It's just got a beautiful view. It's flat. There is a road there, but it's been quite quiet while we've been here, kind of cooking and chilling. It's lovely. I would definitely stay here. I'd definitely come here again just for a nice viewpoint. Ooh. I don't. I don't think for one minute you would get any bother here at all. I really don't. This is good. Five out of five we'll give this. That's what I wanted to put. And I wanted to say that you've actually got um, internet here. It's only two bar. Oh no, I've got 4G and two bar phone reception. So if I go on the internet, I'm with EE. Let me see how easy. Yeah, I've got internet, it's brilliant internet, which is important because you like to watch film or whatever, you know. I thought I'd mention that. Uh, yes, we would stay here overnight. There's actually another camper van down there and it looks like a car here that's staying overnight. Um, yeah, very we would. Steamy. <laughs> yeah, very steamy. It's very uh, wet now, um, so we're just going to head home. We've had a lovely time, something to eat, some time together. Uh, I think this is the best park up of all the ones we've seen. Would you agree? It just feels. Yeah. It has a good feel about it, doesn't it? Like the, it. The first one was good, but, but if you, you feel have like, to pay. and you feel like someone might come and move you on there yeah, a possibly. little bit. Uh, whereas this feels, yes, you're allowed. No one's going to bother you. Beautiful view in the morning. Just nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So uh, anyway, part for night, that's the next three, recce number two, and uh, I don't know what's next, we'll see. Okay, for now, goodbye. TTFM. TTFM. Go. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy Christmas, hope you had a great Christmas. We didn't, we've been ill all Christmas. Um, and I just said all that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and Emmaus, Dave. Yes. Film me. Thank you. Not too close. Mm. It may you can press stop now. I don't want to. All that was filmed by Dave, he's good, isn't he? Ta-da!